Hey, what's going on, guys? Arava here, and welcome back to my F1 2018 fantasy career mode here with Alfa Romeo. We're here for round number 13 at the Japanese Grand Prix. If you did miss the last episode, be sure to go check that one out before you see this one uploaded two days ago at the uh, Singapore Grand Prix. Mixed bag there, but in this episode, hopefully, we can do one better. The Japanese Grand Prix, you can see on the, on the top right here, we've got rain predicted for not only practice, qualifying, but also the race. So, here's hoping. You know, the last few ones where it's rained, we, we've tried to take advantage and it's worked out pretty damn well so hopefully we can finally get back into the points it's been two races since we've not been in the points and of course last time McLaren scored some decent points to now only be three behind us in the championship and uh, Toro Rosso already leaped, uh, leaped uh, bounds ahead to 17 points so I think maybe catching Toro Rosso is out of the question perhaps with three rounds to go uh, after this one but you know never never lose faith but uh, really it, now I'm kind of looking backwards at McLaren and hoping that we can stay ahead of them and if we can score points today then that will be obviously great in terms of doing that but in terms of before we get on to the race we've got some uh, kind of admin to go through now Obviously, as we get through to the end of the season, we need to start thinking about that next season. And obviously, one contentious point was our drivers in terms of, you know, Leclerc's, you know, done some great, great races. He's obviously scored all our points. Gio, not so much. And so, as we go towards the end of the season, only three months left, I'm going to start looking at drivers to potentially get. So, I'm going to let you guys into what we're scouting around and what we're kind of looking at for now. So, obviously, at the moment, this is just scouting. I still need to look at, you know, once, once the scouting's done what they're looking for in terms of pay and maybe if it's worth going after them. But we've got the likes of Pierre Gasly in there. Jensen Button even as a reserve driver from McLaren. Nico Rosberg is even in, is still even a, an active driver in this kind of little mo fantasy mod, basically. He drives for one of the F2 teams, basically. Uh, Mick Schumacher's in there as well. I believe he drives for an F2 or F3 team in this in this fantasy mod. Fernando Alonso, then Dan Ricciardo, and then Richard Vasseur, who's a reserve driver for Red Bull Racing. But Ricciardo apparently is in interested after that interview we did with him and Alonso I'm not too sure but his morale is very very low from McLaren so that's why I've stuck him on that list but you know these kind of guys maybe if we could get one of them on the kind of half cheap that would be an, a really amazing signing so I'm going to go for them in terms of scouting and we'll see what's what um you know just tentative kind of peering in for now we'll see what happens once the scouting's done and we can actually look at their stats and how they're maybe feeling about us in terms of uh, what they may want contract wise or how much money they want or if they want bonuses, all that's going to feed into it. Because, of course, a big part of the, you know... I wouldn't say success, but at least running of this team right now is the fact that we're constantly in the green, you can see. Um, and, that, and large and large is in part to the fact that we're not spending a huge amount on drivers or staff or, or you know, pit crew, really. So, the, you know, if we can try and get one of these drivers that we're scouting on the kind of half cheap, that would be better than kind of splashing the cash for a top driver because that could really make our car suffer. And it's a bouncing act. We need a good car, but obviously, yes, we do need a good driver. But, you know, in some cases, you know, you, you can have the best driver in the world but if our car's still crap like it is right now it's not going to do you know it's, it's not going to really matter too much you know you know the likes of Alonso or you know Ricardo or Button can only drag the car up so much um so it's a balancing act but that's what we're going for in terms of moving on to the Japanese Grand Prix, car repair is going to get complete. So let's have a look at what we got going on here. I've kind of forgotten what we're doing. So yeah, we're still doing the rear wing. That'll get done in like a day's time, I should imagine. Like good enough for um, eighty percent. Let's move on a couple of days here. One or two should do it, really. That'll be eighty percent there. So I think we're all good actually in terms of that. So let's. Um, well, we'll keep that on. Uh, what else can we do? The front wing's been pretty fragile in the last couple of ones, and the brakes have been actually the brakes have been more of an issue so let's keep the one of the rear wings on let's add both brakes on but let's move it more towards 19 to 1 there on the performance side of things um and work on those so we're working on the front wing that's the front wing that's uh this 60 Actually, no, it's not. It's the 644. Okay, we're trying to max out the new front wing we got. We're trying to max out the engine as well. Uh, the new engine, uh, same for the suspension and same for the rear wing. And all those parts will probably inevitably end up giving to Leclerc. Because really, Gio's just not been performing. And I agree with one of the comments saying I should just give all the parts to Leclerc. Just put all, all our eggs in one basket, really. Try and get the best, um, you know, best bullet, as it were, in the chamber to shoot for high points. At the moment, though, in the HQ, we're only four weeks away, though, from our simulator 
later being built. There were a few, I think there was one comment saying, why aren't I investing more in the HQ at the moment? Uh, simply put, there's no point because I need to save enough money for next year's car. You know, you need about a good 20, you know, 20-ish good million saved up uh, by the time we get to next season for a really decent car. Yes, we will get funding from the team to invest in a new car, but the more money we can have for the end of the season, the better. And also remember, you know, signing a new driver is going to probably cost us, you know, at least five million ish maybe on signing on bonus and then you'd think you know they're going to cost us at least 700k per race so in terms of the outlook long term we need to play it a little bit smart and you know need to be a little bit frugal where we can you know we're already building one new building that's good enough for now and of course we've got the front wing on the way the new front wing in 11 days time but for now that is all we're doing and i guess we're getting going to uh, the japanese grand prix or actually the scouting is going to be finished uh, before that on Pierre Gassi, I believe. And also, perhaps, I think that might be Jensen Button scouting done before Japan. Uh, we've got a dilemma here from Giovinazzi. Uh, a contact from inside, inside Sauber Motorsports say they're working on improving their driver's first lap performance. I've been analysing my telemetry with some of uh, the mechanics, and they say there are a couple of ways which I could improve. So should I work on improving my start, or should we concentrate on my braking? So we can either add personality of late breaker or first lap hero. Um, I would say starts have been more important for us as a whole. You know, Leclerc's been able to jump up ahead, and then we've been able to manage his race from there on out. Um, so I'd say even more so for Gio, because he wears out his tyres, so if he's further ahead with wearing out his tyres further, even if he starts to fall back a little bit, he's f falling back from maybe, let's say, 10th place rather than falling back from 18th. So I would say first lap hero. So we're going to add that. To add that on. So both of them apparently are first lap heroes now, I think that will be. Um, so, okay, let's see how that works out in Japan. That might be quite quite good for Japan. So, let's move on then. Our scouting is going to be finished here on Pierre Gasly and also on uh, one of the other drivers, but let's go to the uh, mail. So, target update currently better. Yeah, that's all good. Uh, upcoming reports uh, we've got. 36 laps of the Japanese Grand Prix, 35% uh, chance of rain. That's all fine. Factory feedback. Few mechanics have been wondering if there's any more budget to upgrade the factory. Few changes would give us an edge on improving reliability. Um, you know, uh, I mean, I just said about, you know, the fact that we're not quite not there. You know, we're pretty much middle on both counts. So I'm kind of happy where we are. And with the simulator being built... You know, we're nearly there, so don't worry about that. Scout report's finished. Let's have a look. So, it's Schumacher and Gassi, actually. My bad. That's finished. So, let's have a look at Gassi, then. Um, so, his stats are... He's, he's only two stars. What? Gasly's only two stars. I thought he was a lot better because he was doing so well with Toro Rosso. Maybe that just kind of alludes to the fact that Toro Rosso car is pretty damn decent. So, actually, to my surprise, um, might not be worth, actually, pursuing Pierre Gasly, then. Um, if he's going to be... If he's going to be like that. Um, let's go back to the scouting department. Right. Uh, Schumacher. What's he about? We've got... He's, he's two stars as well. So, not much of improvement. So, yeah. You know, the potential cheap cheap alternatives. But let's uh, let's wait patiently then for the likes of Button, Rosberg, Alonso to come back at us. Um, I feel like maybe those are more maybe drivers we're going to lean towards. You know, older drivers with experience, talent. And maybe because they're older, they'll maybe, you know, accept a cheaper contract perhaps. Right. A new front wing has been built. So, let's go ahead and improve the reliability of that. So we're going to remove all these. We're going to add on the new front wing. It is just about maybe going to be the best because if we do this, we add that onto performance, remove that, and we go 614 perhaps. So that's going to get done 12 days after the race. If we go for eight days after the race, that could be just done in time in terms of the reliability and performance-wise, maybe as well. Let's see. Okay, we've only got three days, actually, to the Grand Prix, so maybe that wasn't wise. Let's see. Ah, uh, 54. And we're on 649. That's still better than the current other one we have. So let's go to full 20 in one day's time. Could we get that up enough? Well, F1 points add double points for the final race of the season. That's going to be the vote coming up, I would I'd probably uh, guess. Yes, it is. I probably won't go for that, but let's see. Uh, move forward to the Japanese Grand Prix. Is that going to be enough for that front wing? It is... Uh, 62 is probably not enough, I would say. Not enough there. So let's go back to 18-2. And that will probably get done after the Japanese Grand Prix, unfortunately. But let's move on then. So in terms of the part fitting... Uh, Gio is going to be pretty angry with this. But I'm just going to give the best parts to Leclerc. So best part there... Uh, best part here, we're not going to give this new front wing to Gio because although that's tempting to have a bump up of, you know, 
uh, 45 there. The reliability is going to mean that's going to be a little bit tricky for, for the race. So I'd rather not. Uh, Gearbox-wise, going to give Leclerc... Well, actually, that's the same gearbox, but just better re reliability there for Leclerc. Uh, Rearwing-wise, give the better one to Leclerc and give that one to Gio now. And suspension-wise, going to swap that round. And so he's going to be pretty miffed about that. But, um, you know, you're just not performing, Gio. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tire-wise, we've got medium tire wear, low fuel burn. With rain added in, I would suggest maybe the medium tire is going to be pretty crucial. So let's go for, uh, f uh, yeah, four, five, six in ascending order. In ascending order, because obviously if it starts to rain, but there's a large period of dry, if we can make it work to the end of the race or to the next period of rain on medium tires, that would be ideal. Um, so all good. So heavy rain practice, then rainy in qualifying with a bit of sun maybe, and then stormy in the race. So that basically hopefully means there definitely is going to be some rain probably quite a bit of it actually so we might end up doing a lot of knowledge on the inters or full wets i don't know but let's go into practice and find out right going to practice for now it's going to be all dry so we're going to send them out on the race stints uh do the usual bring in after one lap for this setup because we can get the setup done in dry conditions um i think that'll be a bit more ideal but you can see at least there's uh for the first uh what's that like 10 minutes nearly it's not going to be raining so at least we can maybe get a little bit of knowledge, maybe level one, at least on the mediums in the, in the race trim, perhaps before the rain starts really pouring down. I'm, I'm suspecting it will come at some point because it was full rain forecast for the for the session. But for now, all in the dry, just going to bring them in, in this lap then and uh, do the usual as Geo's already round to the final kind of sector here. I always like this this circuit here. They've done a great job in terms of the design of the Japanese Grand Prix, I must say, on, uh, on this game. Uh, it, it looks very, very nice. Right, so we got great, uh, great and good uh, for Geo. So that was a decent first attempt on the setup. 88%. Okay, so actually I'm going to wait a little bit and just see where Leclerc is going to come in. He's coming in literally now. So let's just wait a little bit, see what he's saying. So he's great, okay, and good. I know I went a lot more on the over... I think I went... Yeah, I went on the, over, on the hard suspension side of things. Uh, for him on the setup wise um, so that went more towards unders here so clearly not the way to go so I think probably around that much would be from okay to maybe around excellent uh, speed balance wise okay I reckon probably more towards acceleration then we're saying and then downforce wise maybe a little bit more downforce so let's go for that race trim send them out and the same medium set of tires right geo even more on the acceleration side than perhaps so let's go for that much a little bit of tweak on the rear on the front wing and handling wise probably that amount's good so we go tire wise again send them out again and let's see what that brings up right that was a completely backward step then for geo it was a good step though for leclerc so it looks like geo was on the opposite end of the spectrum he was kind of already towards the side of acceleration and downforce we need to maybe go a little bit lower with him to get the perfect setup so 92 then for charles so we're good on acceleration now from what was good still so that would suggest probably we need to go somewhere in the middle here so talking about that much i would say for excellent perhaps so let's go for that uh stint send him out and we'll probably keep him out i think so we're going to go back to the setup we did previously with geo and then go the opposite way then so we went the wrong way with this setup so use that setup and then we need to go for lower downforce just a tad and that's going to be a little bit lower acceleration let's go for even lower here so about that much would maybe be good. And then we were on great. Hopefully that'll be excellent. So let's send him out now. And we'll see. Fingers crossed that's the one. Is the rain coming? Not yet. Surprise. Not yet. Not even around 15 minute mark. Okay. That's actually quite nice at least. So we'll definitely get at least level one on the dry tyres. Right. Rain's going to come around 12 minutes. So I've kept them out there. And I'm just going to let them finish their lap. So hopefully we could maybe just scratch level two. Maybe I'm looking at the way the thing's accelerating on the top left there, the bar. I think maybe just as the rain starts to come down, we'll reach level four. Although, you can see, I think they're both coming in now on their in-laps. Yeah, they're both on their in-laps. So a little bit annoyingly timed there for both our drivers because they're going to come in just as I want them to continue on. But we're going to be quick about this. So as soon as they come in, send them out again. He's excellent and great. So we'll send them out on the same set of tyres. He's 96%. So just send out quickly again. Same for Gio as he comes in down the pit lane here. We're going to send him straight out. He's on three greats. Ah. Uh. So we lost an excellent there, did we Did we not? No, we we never actually got an excellent there for Geo then. So I'm still missing something then. We could still go maybe, okay, maybe it's a tiny bit in the middle then between these two. Maybe it's like around there would be excellent perhaps, just a tad. Um, in terms of the setup there, I think we're pretty much 
good. Oh, that's so frustrating on how we're going to get this. Maybe a little tweak here. I think maybe that will do it. Just a tiny subtle tweak there. Maybe could do it. So send them out. And just as the rain comes down, maybe they can get level 2. Yeah, I think that'll be pretty much spot on, I think. And then we'll go on to Inters then to the end of the race. Um, yeah, that's all good. There we go. Going to bring them in. They'll be on level 2 just about as they come in then on both those tyres. There we go. Unlock there. Awesome stuff. Right. Uh, send Charles out now on Inters, I would say. Looks like it might be full wets by the end of this race. But get a good running on Inters. Maybe get level 1 on Inters. Gives us a bit of a kind of choice even though we are going to do that i probably will probably end up using the on the medium tire knowledge anyway for the race but we'll send them out for a laps now to the end of the race end of the practice session on inters send out and then where's geo coming in he is coming down oh he's already in uh excellent great and good ah that's really annoying ah god 93 still um right i need to bring this back then to where we were before so bring that back to here Maybe that side of things will be better. Okay, I'm gonna go for that, and hopefully, maybe that's hopefully maybe that's gonna be the the ticket there, the sweet spot. So we'll go inters, we'll go eight laps, and send them out, and pretty much now just sit back, relax, and let them do the uh, do the work. All right, we've got perfect gear ratios for Geo then on the message, so that bodes well. Um, and looks like it's gonna be inters the entire session, I would say, because that tr that peak there of the rain in two laps time is not gonna be enough. For the four wets, I would say. Maybe some of the AI might try for like one lap, but we'll be fine. On the Inters, we'll get definitely level one, and we're definitely going to get level three in the race trim. So, all in all, decent practice session. A uh, little bit frustrating in terms of I really still don't know what we're going to end up doing for the race. It kind of depends on how we start. If the race is starting off wet, might choose the Inters. But if I can see maybe the rain's going to come down, it's probably worth to go for level two in the mediums. I don't know. You can't. I can't really say, to be honest. But uh, coming through to the end, and it's going to be a futile effort to get level two on the Inters. So... This session's going to end, and we're going to end up like that with level 2 mediums, level 1 inters, and level 3 race. Let's see what the setup is, though. The end of the session as they come in now through the in-laps. Let's slow this thing down as Leclerc comes in just about now, I'd say. No, I didn't even get to see what their setups were going to be. Great. Onwards to qualifying. Looks like it's raining there. You can see a few spits on your screen. But what is the setup here? I didn't even get to see. Ah, God, flip sake, Antonio. 90, it's 1% better, but apparently is good on the handling front, which is really odd. So, I don't know. One little tweak back there. I don't know. This man is just can't make up his mind in terms of the setup he wants. All right, did some fiddling. I think we're hopefully going to have that. I won't know till the race, but I think that might be a little tweak finally here. Just before qualifying, that's going to be the ticket. We've got a damp track. Um, so probably inters are going to be needed straight away, it looks like. I don't think it'll be worth being on the dry tyres, because they might set a first, uh, good first uh, sector, uh, but then they're just going to fall away. So we'll go straight to inters there. 96% then for Leclerc. That's all right. Uh, I need to choose knowledge. Uh, we'll go inters and light-footed on inters. May as well go with those. And we'll go with inters and medium. We only have that. So actually kind of good. We can use the inter knowledge at least for qualifying then if we're not going to use it for the race. So start quality. And I'm going to send Leclerc straight out. Tire choice inters. Send out. And we'll go out with him. And I'm going to send Geo straight out as well because I'd rather go out when it's, you know, the least rain there. I'll put him on auto, I think, just so we can do them at the same time. So I'll focus on Leclerc, um, but we'll go auto with Geo just so we can send them out. Because the, the least water there is on track, the probably the better in terms of that. So we need to slow this down now. Go down, go down, go down. Need to optimize this. Where is he on track? Uh, Leclerc, he's coming around the bend there. Right, okay, we're just getting perfect. Okay, bring that up. Perfect and overheated. Ooh, just on the edge there of the brake temps. And then meanwhile for Geo, looks like he's pretty perfect right now. Uh, perfect, perfect. Okay, the computer did wonders there for Geo. Fair play. So let's go on the flying lap then and see how they do. But the rain's going to end actually in a bit. So there's that pocket of dry space where we need to maybe come out because it might start raining again at the end of the session. So... There's a pocket of dry air. Ooh, it is going to rain again. God damn it. There's that pocket of dry air, which we should have maybe waited. Uh, right. Super soft. Quickly send Leclerc out for a, an attempt here. Send out quickly, quickly, my man. Quickly. It's not going to be. We don't have time to do UGO. We're going to go auto for Leclerc. But there's not enough time to send uh, Geo out, unfortunately. So, sorry, my man. But Leclerc is going to attempt one little dry lap. That might not work out for him. He's gone green in the first sector, but he's going to go slower in the second. No, he's gone faster. He's gone faster, actually. No? Okay, I think he lost time in the third sector. So, all for nothing, really. Uh, B 
Bit of clean air here now for Geo. So I think we'll send him out for another set of Inters. Send out and we'll do him now. Well, you know, he did well on the computer. So, oh god, a whole gaggle of cars came out. That, okay, I didn't time that. I didn't time that very well, did I? Uh, Leclerc's going to come in. And I think we'll find him some clean air, hopefully. Uh, with only one... Yeah, look at that. Geo again. Per perfect. So, with only one minute to go. Ooh, I think he's just about got enough time to go out there for another Inter's attempt. Go on, son. We'll send you an auto as well, because the computer seems to be pretty damn good at it around this racetrack. So, final minute to go. I think Leclerc will just come across the line in time here for his lap, I think. I should hope. Yeah, he is. And he's going to be perfect, perfect there on the radar. So, that's good. So, at the moment, Leclerc 14, Geo 16. So... Bodes well. Let's see. Uh, white in the first sector. White in the second sector. That's not a good run. That's a horrendous run. And no improvement. But still, 14th and 16th. Pretty decent, I'd say. I mean, Alonso and Van Dorn have mixed in with us. So we're pretty much right alongside the McLarens here. So the team we're trying to fight directly in the championship to keep behind us is right opposite us. So in you know, the last few uh, four rounds, we might have uh, quite a, bit, a big scrap here with McLaren to stay ahead. Right, race time. It's uh, dry, at least for the first nine laps, it looks like. So worth going on the medium tires, I would say, right now. And the race trim. You know what? For, for I don't know. For, for Leclerc, it's probably a no-brainer. I think medium tires, race trim. But for Gio, because he's got this perk of light-footed. I don't know. It might be worth going light-footed into just in case. Like, you know, maybe if there's a long enough period. But also at the same time, it was forecast for stormy weather. So that would suggest that when the rain comes, it's going to be full wet. So then the light-footed wouldn't really matter too much. So in that case, maybe just go mediums anyway as well. Uh, especially because he's got that first lap hero uh, perk. So let's go both medium tires. Because it looks like at least for nine laps, we're going to be on dry. So probably worth going on, on the mediums then. Because they go 17 laps. So they can just push harder on the mediums then. Uh, if it looks like the rain's going to come in closer. We'll go on pushing and overtake mode. And I think that's going to be the strategy. So we've got a, I think, 38 lap race. Um, at least for the first nine laps, looks like it might be dry. So hey-ho, let's go into it and let's pray. Racing gods, can we please... Get some points today. Let's do this thing. To 14th and 16th place on the grid at the Japanese Grand Prix. Five red lights and we are away. And hopefully it's going to be a good start for both these guys. Leclerc gets up the order into 10th already. And Gio is 16 still. Uh, so it looks like that first lap hero trait's not doing amazingly for now. Leclerc down to 12th, although there's a Ferrari going very slowly. Vettel's had a shocker of a start. Vettel's side by side and Leclerc's trying to overtake Sebastian Vettel there in 13th. We're down the inside though. Van Dorn to Leclerc ahead of both. Uh, McLaren's Geo has overtaken Alonso as well, so that's good to see. Is the rain okay? Still no, no, no sign of the rain there. So let's continue just to push on like this, really, for a few laps here. I can burn some of the fuel. That uh, that doesn't matter. We'll go on auto here, but uh, we'll just fast forward a little bit. And ooh, Gasly has crashed. Pierre Gasly has crashed. The man I maybe wanted to sign and the man we maybe wrote off of signing has crashed. So for all Gasly's done so well in the last two races, he has crashed. And looks like there's, uh, ooh, Raikkonen and Alonso being caught up there in that kerfuffle. And Raikkonen's nearly going off circuit by Alonso, the two former teammates pushing each other quite hard there. So Leclerc 14th and Gio in 17th here. But uh, yellow flags for the moment. Let's go down to high here. And uh, we'll go like this. Is there going to be a safety car? Don't think so. Just a crash then. Just yellow flags in this sector. But, um, okay. Interesting, interesting. So everyone is on the high engine mode. So we'll stay on that. But we'll continue to push on the mediums. Because, like I said, I don't know. Doesn't look like the rain's coming anytime soon. Um, but either way, either way, we, we want to get the tire temps up anyway uh, into a good working range. So we'll continue to push on. Then we'll go to neutral once they're in a decent kind of range there. But uh, for now, okay progress. I would have liked to see Leclerc up into the top 10 for now, but not to be right now. We'll use the ARS down this straight. Actually, maybe try and see if we're going to overtake the mana car. We're close. Uh, down the main straight. Can he make a move around the outside of turn one? Yes, it is. Lovely move there by Leclerc. Let's slow this down. Where is Gio? He's being attacked right now. So let's wait for him to get into a position to maybe use the ARS. Not quite yet through the chicane. Maybe off the hairpin, I would suggest. Or maybe down the main straight. Yeah, we'll wait till the hairpin. Uh, the kind of um, the banked hairpin. And then we'll do the ERS. As we come through to the next right-hander, then the left. We'll take this off auto. And then wait for it on the exit here. We'll ERS and let's see what he can do back on auto. 
down the straight carry for the momentum. Uh, doesn't look like he can do anything. Actually, he's overtaken one person at least, up into 17th place in the S section, so fair play. Leclerc, meanwhile, up in 12th and got a gap now to Palmer, so that's good. And he can try and chase down Magnussen. The rain is going to come around lap 12, so worth us pushing maybe the, the medium tires. We'll go down to neutral though because the tire temp's now in, a, in the overheating phase. So we go neutral and they start to come down just in a, in a kind of perfect kind of you know, just on the edge of the red zone. That'll be ideal for us. Right, I'm going back up for the drivers right now because it looks like Japan going on neutral doesn't bring the tire temps back down. So we need to desperately bring them down here. So I'm going to go overtake mode to counteract that. Uh, and a bit of ER, uh, ERS for Geo because I think he's fighting some people. He's down in 19th, unfortunately. He's not even fighting people. He's just down the order. But his tyres, uh, both of their tyres, we need to bring them down quite a lot in terms of the tyre tire range. I mean, we've got no one behind us, really, for a bit from Leclerc. So we can afford to go back up range, but that's quite annoying that Japan, naturally, the tyres are just going hot. Um, so we can't just go neutral to make them go down. So we have to go a few little moments here and back up. We'll go conserve now, I would say, and then hopefully in a lap or two's time. I know we're on already low fuel delta, so let's go high and high. And hopefully that'll bring the tire temps down. Okay, they're in a sort of good working range now. You can see Leclerc's going a little bit faster now, so let's go neutral. Let's go neutral, and we'll continue on like this. And the rain should come down in a lap or two's time. We're up into third and tenth right now. So actually, to that effect, let's push on a little bit with uh, Geo. Maybe wear his tires out a little bit more. And we'll keep on the ERS a little bit as G uh, Leclerc gets chased down. Actually, you know what? Where is Geo here? On the Okay, he's here. Rain's coming down. Do we go full wet? Should we go full wet and risk it? I would say maybe. I think maybe it's worth it. Right, I'm going to push in this lap. I'm going to use all the ERS here. We're going to pit in with Gio right now. I'm going to risk this. I'm going to go on to the full wet tyres because I think maybe... Oh, I can't tight tell. That's close. Mm, I think full wets are maybe needed. I think full wets are needed. Although a lot of people are on inters. Uh, is Hamilton going to come in? No, I don't think so. Grosjean, is he going to come in? Can't tell. Stroll, is he going to be in? No, no sign of him coming in as well. I don't know, do we just push on in this damp conditions right now for one more lap? It's going to get even damper now, though, by the minute. I think we have to try something with Geo, so let's go for Inters for him. All right, I'm going to go Inters. going to bit, go a bit safe. 50% charge, pit strategy. We'll go fast. We'll try and risk it a little bit here. So let's come in now with him. Yeah, ignore for now, ignore for now. Right, Geo's in. Let's go. Good pit stop, no mistakes. Awesome stuff. Auto. Let's push out there. High fuel mixture. Actually, let's go medium because we need to start saving some fuel. But I'm curious. After that second bar of full heavy rain, is it going to go down or is it going to remain? Because that will basically tell me what we're doing with Leclerc now, who's in third place. Ah, oh, can't tell, can't tell. By the end, by the halfway through this lap, I'll know though. Right, I need to make a decision now. It's going to go down, isn't it? I think it's going down. I think, I think it's, I think it's going down. So it's worthwhile just going on inters. And basically trying to just stick it out on Inters despite there being two laps of four wets. It'll be worth going on Inters instead. And so th to that effect, I should go neutral or conservative even with Geo and try and conserve those tyres. We'll use all the ARS here. Pit in. Inters. Power condition's fine. I'll only do a bit of recharge for Leclerc because I don't want to waste time in the pit stops here. Because he's in a really good position. So come in. We're on the fast pit stop. So we're risking it. But I really hope. Fingers crossed. It's not going to be a mistake on the pit stop. Please, no, please, no. Yes, no mistake on the pit stop. Here we go. Auto out the pit lane. And we're going to go neutral and neutral. We're out in 15th place. Just ahead of Geo. But we've got a lot of people still on dry tyres. So let's push on a little bit. And let's try and see if we can have enough pace. As we come round now, the laps through to 12th. ERS it up into 9th place, that is. Few people have gone for, for the full wet tyres, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to pull that trigger. And now we're going to overtake, uh, I think that's Ricardo, still on mediums there. So good stuff for him. We're going to try and overtake also. It's going to be Carlos Sainz Jr. here down the inside. Nice move there for Leclerc. Meanwhile, Gio still going well as well in 12th place as well. And the tyre temps are good. I'm going to back up a little bit with Leclerc to bring those tyre temps down. We're up into fourth place with Leclerc and sixth place with Geo. It's full wet tyres now, but it's going to get to Inters soon enough. So I, I hope my gamble is going to pay off. I'm going to throw the dice and gamble 
and stay on these inters. I really hope this works out. I, do, I just don't think that's enough for four wets. That doesn't warrant four wets, I don't think. Because that's... It's on the teetering edge. You can see pretty much where the weather is right now is on that cross-hatching part of the water on track graph of on the edge of inters and wets. So it's like kind of like your decision personally. What do you believe in? Either way, I need to save fuel, but also I need to save tyres. So it's kind of a half and half situation here. We're going to use a bit of ARS down this straight to just plough on with the pace. Down that main straight will drain that ARS to about that much there for Geo. He's going to gain... A decent chunk. 1.5 he's gained from the previous lap there. We're going to go neutral now for him. And neutral for Leclerc. Because hopefully the full wet weather will make the tyres cold anyway. So they can go neutral and the, and the tyre temps won't shoot up too much, hopefully. That's that's the hope, at least. Right, I'm going to monitor their pace. Uh, plus three right now. Water and track goes up. We're going to continue on now. Plus seven. See, they're losing nearly a second a lap here, but that's only two seconds lost over two laps of full wet weather. I'll lose 15 seconds doing a pit stop, so that's why I think it's going to be worth just staying out here like this. Let's use ERS to counteract this. ERS to counteract this. Down that straight. Okay, we're third. We're sixth for Antonio. It's full wet, full wet right now, but keep plan on, keep plan on, keep plan on, keep plan on. We're closing up on Ocon, who's on worn inters. Right, we've got Bottas closing up on us. So as he closes up, there's no point wasting energy here. So let's go low fuel and let's let him pass here. Then we'll go medium. Won't fight him, basically. And so, you know, save the tiny bit of fuel there with uh, Leclerc. Again, though, like I said last episode, if you call it, guys, I think there's a glitch with uh, Leclerc because his fuel is a lot higher then Geo's, and it just shoots up and down depending on what I do on the engine mode, so it's a little bit kind of funny in that aspect. You can see, though, I think uh, Leclerc generally is pushing his tyres a little bit harder right, right now into the ground because uh, his tyre temps are still staying up. But here we go now. The sun's going to start to come out. And actually, by the end of the race, it could get to slick. So we could go to the end. So you know what? We're going to go conserve. I need to try and take this to the slick tyres. I need to try and take this to the slick tyres. That's the best way we can go about this race, I think. We're gaining 1.3 now, so see, the grip's coming back to us. The grip is coming back to us now. Three seconds gained. The grip is majorly coming back to us now. Look at that. We're closing up on Bottas. We're closing up on Bottas with Leclerc. I put high on Gio. He's dropping to eighth, though, because he's getting caught now. So I'm trying to counteract that with some higher fuel mixture. But we've got Bottas using some ERS there to stay ahead of us. But we were catching with a rate of knots there. Now we're kind of losing some time once we got hold up, held up by him. But you can see it's Inters now. It's Inters. It's Inters weather. So these guys are going to start to suffer. Although we've got quite low tire wear. So we need to be kind of half and half about that. But if we can just make it two more laps, we'll be good for Inter. Uh, we'll be good for the slick tires. But let's use some ERS to try and get past Bottas here. Down this straight. There we go. We made a pass. We've overtaken a Mercedes car there in an Alfa Romeo. And we're up into second place with Leclerc. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Keep chugging along. Sixth place for Gio. That's good. Keep going. Keep going. All right. We've got worn tire signal for Antonio. He's just told us worn tires. That's fine. I'm on low fuel now with Leclerc because Verstappen's pushing with very worn tires. So I'm taking that opportunity to save some fuel here with him. We're going to save some fuel now with Gio by going medium, though. Going to use some ERS to counteract that tyre wear. And Leclerc is up into first because Hamilton. Hamilton's already gone to slicks. That's very bold there, mate. That's very, very bold. I guess it's sort of the crossover period. Where is Gio? Is he... Ooh, he's just crossed the line for the pit lane. Right. I think we're going to push in now with Leclerc. Pit in. How many laps have we got left? 11. So, softs would go the distance. But I chose the perk for having performance in the mediums by 10%. So 10% would maybe just make us level in terms of performance on the soft tyres. Uh, what do I go? What do I go? See, realistically, I just know the softs are going to start to wear out after 11. They're just going to start going off completely. Whereas mediums, we have a bit more leeway there to maybe push them harder. Oh, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Hamilton's gone supers, so he reckons he can take that all the way to the end of the race, which is... Oh, bold. We're going to go softs. I'm going to go softs. We won't go mediums. We'll go softs, though, with Leclerc. Recharge the battery by 50. Uh, well, you know what? We'll do 25. Pit strategy will go on. Ooh, there's a high risk there. We've got pretty lows, though. We'll go on balanced. 
Ooh, there's a difference of one position, though, if I make fast work. Right, we'll go fast for Leclerc. Let's risk it. Let's risk it here. So he's going to come in. We'll use ERS. Right, worn tires for him. That's fine. We know that. He's going to come in. And we're going to go low. And for Gio in fourth, his tires are going off the cliff as well. So we have to come in now and double stack him, really. For Gio, though, he's not going to go 11 on soft, is he, though? Apparently, he can go 12 to 14, but that's just not going to be the case. So I'll go I'll go medium to Gio because I know his tire wear is not going to be that great. So going to 25%. We'll go for fast and we'll come in as well. We'll use the ERS for Leclerc. He's coming in now, so we'll go a little bit slow here. Let's watch this pit stop. Please, please, please. I'm praying for no mistakes. Yes, no mistakes. Awesome. And that's perfectly timed because he's already exited his pit box. So we've timed that pit stop actually perfectly there. So on... The outlap then. Right, where are we now? We're going to go on neutral here. There's a mistake though for Geo. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Mistake for Geo. Still comes out though. Okay. Neutral, neutral. Pushing actually with him to get the tire temps up. And now we go to the end. Geo at the moment in fourth. I mean, uh, uh, Geo in tenth. Leclerc's the one in, uh, in fourth. I need to monitor his tire temps very, very carefully. Because I think Leclerc, from what it looked like on the strategy when I went to pit stops, it looks like the game is telling me that Leclerc actually should have worse tyre wear than Gio around Japan for some reason. Maybe it's just a specialty of, of, uh, of Gio's, so I need to watch out for that and make sure I'm managing this tyre wear and the tyre temp especially. But at the moment, you are, we are being chased down by fifth place, but that's because it still is a little bit damp. But now, as the track gets a little bit drier... We should have the advantage. So you can see there, Magnussen pushing hard to close us down. He's got more pace, but we will use some ERS. And now, it should be a dry track nearly. So it should be our time to shine. Right, we're second now. We're second place with Leclerc. We're seventh with Gio. His tyres are in the hot region. So we'll go neutral now. Use some ERS to stay ahead of this Force India car. His fuel's good though. He's got way better fuel management, I, would, I should say, uh, compared to Leclerc. So he's still in seventh. But now everyone's in the dry tyres. So Gio can only go backwards with me. And the same for Leclerc. But Massa is opted for the mediums behind us. And we're gaining pace on the previous lap on conserve with Leclerc. So that's good. Gio should be overtaken though by the Force India. Let's use some ERS to get back at him maybe. Okay, I paused it here. Just as Massa is trying to overtake us, Leclerc is getting overtaken. Let's go pushing a little bit. And let's try and push back please. Damn it. Okay, go off. Go back to auto. Right, going to save this. Going to have to save the ARS. Save it till the hairpin here coming out of it. Right, okay. We're getting some time here. Round the bend. ERS it. Can we get enough time? No, we cannot. Wow, Mass has waltzed away. Mass has completely bolted there. Completely bolted. Right, we're going backwards now in this race now. That's annoying. The Williams car's overtaken us. Didn't, uh, kind of embarrassed to say that. And Gio's now out of the top 10. Inevitable, inevitable, I think. He just doesn't have the pace. But, oh, he just made an overtake on Vettel. Fair play. He just overtook Vettel. How do you like that, Vettel? Right, Leclerc. Third. Fourth place is Bottas right behind us. We're probably going to get overtaken by him. But we are closing back up to Massa, though. So let's keep in this. Let's keep in this. Four laps remaining. Come on. Come on. Okay, Bottas overtakes us. But let's hope that Bottas overtakes Massa. And we... Oh, we've re-overtaken Bottas. What a move there by Leclerc. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Right, tire temp's a little bit iffy. Let's manage this now through this sector. Right, good. Back to neutral. Use a bit of ERS off here. Bit of high maybe down this main straight. Right, Geo is in 11th. He's got some decent amount of fuel, so I'll put that up into high. At the moment, Leclerc, his tire temps are going up into a fine region, so we'll go conservative. Go ERS down this straight. I'm trying to keep this needle basically where it is. Fuel-wise, we're 0.09, so... We've got enough fuel to keep in high, maybe, till in the race to try and catch Massa. His tyres just aren't going off enough, though. Right, last half of the Grand Prix, we're going to go full out attack. We're going to medium fuel. I need to watch out for that. And the fuel gauge is uh, a little bit iffy there on Leclerc. And at any point, it could go into the negative. But we're going full out attack now, trying to gain anything we can on Massa. We're going to ERS completely off the final corner. Can we catch him? I don't think so. It's going to be third place, though, for Leclerc. Race ending. Get in there, mate. Get in. And Gio's 10th. Come on, mate. Are you in the points? Are you in the points, Gio? Yes, he is. It's double points for Alfa Romeo. Get in there, baby. And Charles, 
his first podium. Alfa Romeo's first podium here ahead of Bottas. We beat a Mercedes, both Ferraris, both Red Bulls. Massa came second. Fair play there. We just couldn't catch him in the end. But third place and 10th altar for Gio. Gio scored points. A fair play. Double points. Get in there. Smash that button, guys. That one definitely deserves over 1,000 likes for that. Absolutely insane race for us. That one was good. That one was really grand. Awesome, awesome stuff. And we gain one more position because Sebastian Vettel got demoted after a part was found to be broken by the GMA. So Giovinazzi scored two points, not just one. Leclerc got 15 for that. And so here, third place trophy, soak that in. Absolutely amazing stuff there. So Charles jumps back ahead of Gasly. And we're now ahead of Torosso by eight points. Absolutely fan flipping tastic. Whew. Absolutely awesome. Forza Alfa Romeo. Absolutely awesome. Bellissimo, Charles. Bellissimo. And we're getting the money in as well. So it's all, all is well in the world. We're breaking the 31 million margin here. And we're doing bits, you must say. We're doing very well for the budget we're on in terms of how much money we're saving up for next season as well. Whew. That is good, that is good, that is good stuff. Scouting's finished as well, interview with the BBC, yes. You attend a quick pit stop with Giovinazzi in the last race, result in a mistake. We had to go for it, every second makes a difference in this sport. Yes, it does. And that apparently brings down the morale, even though we got bloody, you know, podium there. Scouting reports finished with, uh, with Nico Rosberg, let's see what he's saying here. Details, very good. And he's considering offers, apparently, he, here Nico is, so... Let's watch out for that. Let's watch out for that. We could grab Nico flipping Rosberg, maybe, if we're not careful. But that is going to be where we end it, guys. So if you have enjoyed it again, smash that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you are new around here, then do get subscribed for weekly Formula 1 content. I've been Alva. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next time.